Thanks so much for clicking and watching this video, man. Y'all, I have not actually recorded a video in a week. I was under the weather last week, um, all of last week. I started feeling much better towards Friday, Thursday is Friday ish, but I had to try to build myself up to eating and everything. But when I tell y'all, I am feeling exceptionally well today. I actually feel very good, y'all. And I'm so excited to be back and back on my fit vlog journey. Mission 20 pounds down today, okay? So <laughs> that's what I'm bringing to y'all today. Mission 20 pounds down. We're about to proceed. Um, this is the last week that's going to close out our first, my first month of it. Y'all, and I'm so excited. Um, I can't wait to stand on the scale on the third, just to see how much pounds I actually lost in a month. Now, I will tell y'all this. Y'all know, uh, if you're familiar with any of my videos, um, then you would know for my mission 20 pounds down, I've been really, 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 really focusing on my nutrition. I watch what I eat, try to get as much fruits, veggies in as possible, as well as I've been trying to get as much activity in. I walk my girls to their bus in the morning, walk back home. I walk to the gym on my lunch break, get about a 30, 40 ish minute workout in, walk back home. Then I go and walk and get my girls from the bus. And walk back home so that usually gives me a lot of good cardio and exercising as well as while i'm working out i have tried to incorporate weights uh when i do my squats and medicine balls and things like that so you know i'm really just trying to get as much activity and eat right that's that's been the goal i don't want no fad quick diets i've been trying to really do it the right way y'all and i'm so excited to see whatever that six scale would say even though i had a week off uh as well as when i said i went ham this weekend i paid the price for it but i went ham this weekend y'all why on friday i ordered pizza because i started getting appetite back and i wanted something so bad <laughs> my body was like oh i just want something so bad i mean i was saying i want something so good but it was it would be bad considering mission 20 pounds down y'all are the pizza that pizza told me up saturday woke up me grits eggs um and I had croissants with it i had um a little bit of uh plant-based meat on the side that i fried down man it was so good um i didn't really eat much uh after that that helped me the whole day and then yesterday I made a delicious, oh my God, I'll, I'll take a picture of what I made yesterday for dinner. But it was a fatty salmon with garlicky red potatoes. It was so creamy, y'all, and some Brussels sprouts, man. So your girl been trying to make up her eating, and I, I, I think I did good. Uh, <laughs> over the weekend but y'all now today is back time to get on track back down to my smoothies back down to my green juices y'all i did uh purchase groceries off amazon um i did purchase groceries off amazon i did not do a haul because i still i wasn't all the way there yet but i'm 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 here today y'all um i just bought the norm no if you go back and look at any of my other grocery store hauls then you'll see some of the items, you know, similar to the ones that I always purchase. Purchase fish, purchase shrimp. Um, this week, I want to make those delicious um, bean and pepper flautas that I per I made uh, in a video before. I'm going to make a meatball and spaghetti for dinner. Um, I'll probably have a fish, rice, and veggie meal. I'll probably have like a shrimp bowl. Those are just some of the ideas that I think I'm going to prepare this week, y'all. But yeah, um, go look at some of my other uh, recipe videos. You'll see similar to some of the items that I always purchase. For this morning, it's 7.40. So what we need, what I need to do is um, 
I need to go in the kitchen, make my smoothie for today. I need to make me a green juice and I need to make me some breakfast. And I think for breakfast, I want to make me a delicious oatmeal. So that's what we're about to do right now. Also, y'all, I switched things around a little bit. With my son leaving uh, to go to school and things, I just wanted to make myself a little bit more comfortable. So what I did was, um, you know, now that I'm really the only person fully in the house, my son lives on campus, I moved my desk and everything in my bedroom uh, just to make it a little bit more cozy, plus to give me another change of scenery. So I'll show y'all that real quick. Usually over here is where my television will go, but I put... My desk, this desk used to be in my son's room. It is my desk, but he, um, I let him take it. So he had two desks in his room for his setup for school and things like that. And then what I did was I moved my television over on this wall right here. And I kind of catacorned it. So when I'm in a bed, I can see it. But yeah, that just makes things a little bit more cozy and a little bit more comfortable for me. Still have a lot of room, space in my room. And it really just works out really well so that's what i'm doing for right now y'all all right y'all also this is my fruit bowl um for the week y'all we have i bought three bunches of bananas i bought about four apples i bought some oranges mangoes kiwis and this y'all is just some dishwashing liquid dishwashing detergent and apple cider vinegar and I put that here to catch some of the fruit flies because I started having a little bit of fruit flies y'all and I know that's a really good trap hey right, y'all let's get 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 it I'm excited <laughs> ginger you know i love a ginger in my green juice and again that's those mixed berries banana hands full of spinach ground flax cheese seeds and almond milk y'all so there we have it all right y'all so this is my oatmeal same old same old y'all know i like oatmeal or if you watch any of my other videos you know i like oatmeal with a little bit of cinnamon vanilla i sprinkled a little bit of brown sugar and that is just some blueberries and this is just leftovers i'll probably eat tomorrow and we can have coffee beach i know your girl gonna get her celsius in it is actually 8 20 at this time so it's time for me to get on to my desk and get my day started y'all the sun is actually shining so beautifully outside um all right y'all so i'm just Completely settling into my morning. I've done my morning meeting with my team. I responded to a few emails. I really just like my desk being in my bedroom for the time being. So much light in here, um, even though it's too much light. It was just a beautiful uh, morning today. That's all I can say, it's just a beautiful morning. I actually had to close the, the first two panels of my curtains because it's a lot of light that comes in and I'm not able to see my screens, but I'm not gonna complain about, you know, just all of that nice, beautiful, airy light that comes in because I've been sitting in a nook by my kitchen in that darkness for about a year now and it's just time to switch up. It's time for a change and I do like this. But I'm just sitting here. I wanna go ahead and read today's uh, prayer in our 365 day uh, prayer journal for women that I've been doing. Um, also, y'all, I want to give a big shout out to my skin. My skin really has been skinning. Oh, can we get it up for the girl skin? My skin really has been skinning, man. I'm going to have to go and look for some before shots of my skin to show y'all how far your girl have come, man. I've come a long way with my skin. But man, I had terrible 
acne, but you can still see some of the hyperpigmentation all over my face because I was on the Nuva Ring for many years. And when I stopped using the Nuva Ring, oh my God, my skin just went. Blah, 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 blah. I had a breakout, a terrible breakout, like just all around here, dark, um, for about six months. And then after that, I've just been in a recovery process of trying to get my skin, like the marks and everything gone. And the routine that I've been using is definitely been helping. And I haven't even, I mean, some of my products are high, uh, uh, I don't know, it's mid price products I've used. Uh, Y'all, yeah, your girl's skin is skinning. Also, y'all, I am just sitting here thinking about being like a single mom. I've said it more times than a, a, a enough on this channel because it is my actual factual life. If this is your first time viewing any of my videos, my oldest son is 18 years old. He uh, lives in the dorms at Clark Atlanta University. He moved into his dorms a week or so ago. Um, and then I have two daughters. I have a six-year-old and a 10-year-old. And the thing about being a single mom is when stuff like this comes around, it's the Jackson Drama Presents Not Post Got Talent and my daughter wants to audition to be in the play. Um, the auditions are August the 31st at the school. And then if she gets into the drama club, then they'll have practice every Wednesday, um, 4.30 will be the let out time for the practice. All of that sounds wonderful, but the thing about being a single parent is I also work um, a 8.30 to 5.30 remote job. Um, and with that being said is if her practice on Wednesday lets out at 4.30, then how am I going to pick her up? It makes it hard to say, I'm sorry, you can't participate because I have no way to get you from the practice. Because what if this is actually her calling? What if my daughter could be a, a wonderful actress and this is her start to encourage her and motivate her and give her the confidence that she needs? I don't want to be the person to go against that. So I'm going to try my best to work this out for her, even if it calls for me taking my hour lunch break at four o'clock on Wednesdays, just so I could get her back and forth to her practice. Y'all know I take a 15 minute break at three o'clock to go get my children from the bus every day. Um, and I usually take my lunch break somewhere between 12 and two, but I really wanna make this happen for her y'all because she was so excited. And when I told her this morning, I have to see how I can work that out because I have to figure out how I can get you from there. Seeing as though my son no longer lives here, I don't have that additional help to just run small errands for me. But I'm going to make it work for her. I will. God is going to work it out for us. You just have to always remain positive and know things will work out. In addition to that, y'all, my school for my master's and help my MHA starts uh, again tomorrow. So... A full time I work a full I work full time, a full time mother, full time student, and a full time YouTuber because y'all know I try to upload every day. It can be done. It will be done. I will do it. I can do it. The only thing that will prevent me from doing it is myself. And I am not defeat myself in my mind. But there's a will, there's a way. You heard me? Watch your girl get it done. But today, August the 29th. Right, y'all so today august the 29th and it is wise words do not believe every spirit but test the spirits whether they are of god because many false prophets have gone out into this world and that's first john chapter 4 the first verse god nothing compares to the thrill of hearing from you i long to encounter your spirit and the moments i feel your hand on my life are as good as it gets I know there are those who would take advantage of my openness. Yours is not the only spirit at work in this world, so grant me discernment. Lord, and give me an ear for truth. Remind me not to seek the thrill of the supernatural, but the thrill of encountering you, especially when someone tells me exactly what I want to hear. Have me question if it's something you would say. Make me wise to your words, God. And turn me away from all competing voices. Do you test what you hear to make sure it's from God? Sometimes I have to. 
Because sometimes it's not other spirits and other forces. Sometimes it's your mind. It's something that you want so bad. And the Lord is telling you it ain't the time. No. And you're trying to convince yourself otherwise. Sometimes it's not... <laughs> Sometimes it's not other spirits and forces. So the way I kind of get around that is I understand that all things work out for the, the greater good. And all things happen in due time. May not be when you want it, but it will be on time. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish working for this morning. Um, That's going to be it for my little ramble. The rest of the day is just going to be really get, get, getting into um our workout but i'm just so excited and so happy to be here with y'all today you heard me because your girl been down for a week so um the next time i'll come back to y'all is most likely when i'm uh having my celsius and then getting ready to go work all right y'all so it is about that time um it's actually 11 30 so i'm drinking my celsius and this flavor is actually bomb this is the raspberry icy ACI, I say, I say, <laughs> however you say that, it's the green tea, but it's non-carbonated, but I actually like this non-carbonated. It's actually very good. <clears throat> Shrinking me up some water. This is actually my fourth bottle of water this morning, y'all. When I wasn't feeling well all last week, y'all, I could not even drink water. I don't know what was wrong with me. It took me like the, the entire day just to sip on one bottle of water and that's because I wanted to force myself to at least have water and I'm somebody that love water I'll go through many bottles I go through a couple cases a week so for me not to want water man that was rough but I've been getting it in and I've been making up for it y'all when I was discussing my skin one of the main things that I left out about my skin y'all it's about what I intake into my body as well my nutrition all of those green juices, I drink a lot. If if y'all watch, um, if y'all watch, let me close this up a little bit. If y'all been watching when I make my um green juices, y'all see I use a lot of celery, a lot of cucumber, um, and things like that. Man, I think all of that contributes to my skin and the condition of my skin the cold condition of my body i am going to continue to slowly drink on my celsius try to get this last bottle of water in and then uh maybe around 12 30 ish i am going to get up and we are going to go work out. what i will say is y'all i have some new subscribers even though <clears throat> my subscriber count is slowly growing and i know a lot of y'all are here because i cooked that delicious succotash and a lot of y'all also like my oyster mushroom tacos don't worry more recipe videos are to come um i've said this before in the summer my kids don't really like eating hot meals so a lot of the recipes that i'm cooking right now in the summer are already recipes that i have on the channel that's why um especially now doing my 20 pounds down mission 20 pounds down i'll just go ahead and tag some of the recipes that i already have on my channel that i'm preparing now but you see, once that weather starts to switch a little bit and I can start making me some more stews and curries and uh, all things nice, warm and soothing to the soul, baby, y'all are in for a treat. Uh, because, you know, after going through a whole summer of making quick dishes, when you can really make nice, hearty, hot dishes and you can your body can appreciate it because of the elements, the weather elements, man, it's on, it's on, it's on. Y'all, but let me go ahead and finish working out, holla. Y'all, I did a real good. Well, I thought it was a good workout to say it was my first, first day back after a week. I was aiming to do 24 minutes on the stairs, but the stairs stopped working at about 17 minutes. But I'm still proud of myself for actually being on the stairs that long. Then after that, I did a couple squats. I actually walked in the door. Taking off my tennis, y'all. I'm out of breath, but I'm proud of myself today. Proud of myself today. I'm sweaty, which is a good thing. 
I'm gonna go quickly wash my hands, get my smoothie. Oh, I bought some more protein uh, bar. Also, yeah, I bought the same bar, but this time I just got the chocolate chip. But I feel like when it comes down to YouTube also, oh, this is good. I wish it was cold though. I feel like when it comes down to YouTube, everything is just trial and error for you off the bat. Why? Because what works for somebody else may not necessarily work for you. I'm gonna give y'all an example real fast. Let me set up work. What I'm saying is, um, it's all trial and error because what works for somebody else <laughs> may not work for you and what works for you may not work for somebody else. But it's good to listen to people who've come before you to try to get some insight and you learn things that you know you possibly could try. What I mean by this is, um, I watched one person on YouTube and they gave some very, 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 very good tips. And the tips they gave was, if you're new to YouTube, don't post long videos because people don't know you yet. So, you know, it's intimidating for you to have a 30, 45 minute video up on your channel when nobody don't know you. It's you already being you already defeating the minds of the person who could have been willing to click on you and kind of watch because they already intimidated, don't know you, don't know your personality, but we're gonna sit up there and watch you for 30, 45 minutes and we'll post shorter videos, right? So I took heed to that and not last week was, a I, I didn't record all last week, but the week before I tried to do under 50 minute videos. But then again, I had somebody else on YouTube say, they noticed that the longer videos are actually the ones that's pushed and you get more people to watch. So that was encouraging somebody to post longer videos, 30 to 45 minute videos specifically is what was said. So what do you do? You got one person saying post short 10 to 15 minute videos and you have somebody and that works for them. And then you have somebody else saying that they find that if you're going to post, try to do longer videos because longer videos get the play. Which one do you do? You just got to record edit and upload videos to see what works for yourself. Now, of course, I'm no pro. I'm no pro at all. Not saying that I'm not going to get to that status because I'm quite sure I will. You know, I have 217 subscribers as of today. Um, I have a whole lot of videos <laughs> uploaded. I've been on YouTube since I've been on YouTube for seven months, 217 subscribers and um 17 subscribers 217 videos that's between videos and shots that i've post and that's in a combination of my flip fit vlogs get ready with me's vlogs recipe videos and grocery store hauls just a combination of everything that makes me me and my personality on this channel i have 217 subscribers for every 217 posts that i have done on youtube and with that being said it's, it's self-explanatory that i'm still trying to find my way i'm just gonna stay consistent and stay true to myself and upload what i feel embodies me uh and the things that make me happy and just like the 217 people that have tagged along to subscribe to my channel i'm quite sure i'll find more people organically that don't mind watching the content that i post now a lot of my subscribers have come from my recipes and recipes on my niche i'm going to continue with my recipes but right now my passion is this fit blog and trying to show you how i incorporate all of the recipes and things like that that i've already post up on my channel to my lifestyle now and how they still match and apply um, keep in mind, I am a pescatarian, been a pescatarian for, uh, about four to five years now. And, um, I've actually lost a total of 50 pounds thus far. And that was 50 pounds before I started my missions, 25, uh, 20 pounds down. When I hit, uh, 218 pounds, that totaled about 50 pounds or maybe a little bit more. And starting from 218 to whatever I achieved now, which my goal is 20 pounds. And after that, I might aim for another 10 but altogether, my real weight loss goal is 80 pounds altogether. From my highest weight, which was a little bit over 260, between 260 and 270 pounds to whatever I end at, my total amount of weight loss is going to total about 80 pounds. 
and I'm very excited about that. But I achieved all of that through my lifestyle, not necessarily converting a pescatarian, but being mindful of the things that I eat because I could be a pescatarian and eat a whole lot of fried foods and the wrong stuff. So it's really me making the better choices of what I've eaten. Uh, I do know that weight loss is 80% of the, the uh, things that you eat in nutrition. And I think I've mastered the nutritious, the nutrition part, eating a lot of fruits, veggies, and trying to find the healthier uh, options, training my mind to want the healthier things, lean towards more of the better products for my day-to-day -day, as opposed to the worst side. Now, now, Mission 20 Pounds Down is more focused on me trying to get as much activity because the activity is the part that I was losing. Keep in mind, I did manage to lose 50 pounds without really exercising, just focusing mainly on nutrition. So... Yeah, y'all, let me log back in and get myself set up uh, to continue working. And I'll holler at y'all later. All right, y'all, so it is a little bit after 5.30 and I just logged off work. Thank you, Lord. Now I am about to head in the kitchen and make these meatballs and spaghetti. I'm closing my blinds, y'all, because then while my meatballs are in the oven, I'm going to roll my meatballs, season them, roll them, put them in the oven. I'm going to come take me a shower, and then by the time I shower, my meatball should be done, and I could go ahead and whip up sauce, because sauce don't take long at all, as well as noodles don't take long to get prepared either. So Today has been a really good, productive day. I'm very, very happy with my the outcome from today. Um, not only did I work all day, not only did I work out, you know, get my girls to where they needed to be and back. I even uploaded a reel on Instagram. All right, y'all. I am back. Biggity back. Biggity back, back, back. Biggity back. Biggity back, 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 back. But <laughs> I received a phone call and they cut my last clip off. So I'm going to just pick up where I left off. Of course, after I shower, I always put my bonnet on, put a comfortable robe. I'm still cooking. But I was trying to tell y'all about my Instagram, y'all. I did upload a reel today on Instagram. My Instagram is Meosha's World. If you're interested, go holler at me let your girl it is miosha's world on instagram just as it is on youtube but i uh, just wanted to chime in and finish that sentence and i'll come back of course and show y'all my dinner all right y'all so this is a quick spaghetti and meatball dinner a real quick spaghetti and meatball dinner so this is how i'm ending off my time ending off my night i might have that uh chocolate chip protein ball for dessert if i crave something sweet after but i usually don't so thanks so much for clicking and watching this video Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Go on and hit the notification button next to the word subscribe. So you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video or a delicious recipe. And y'all know we got to put the emphasis on share. And I'm going to need you to tell your mom and them, your cousin and them, your sister and them, your brother and them. Please tell your friends, your foe, tell everyone you know. And don't forget your neighbors and coworkers. But tell them to come holler at me. Your girl me your show about a recipe or video. And as always, I do pray God bless and keep y'all. Until next time. Bye. I'll see y'all tomorrow.